Hey, what's up you guys? It's Eli, aka Inferno. I just got back from outdoor school. I literally haven't even unpacked yet. I just, I came out here and uh, something happened this week at outdoor school that I really just kind of wanted to sit down and share with you guys uh, because it really, it really struck a nerve with me and I think that um, it deserves to be shared. Uh, so at outdoor school, you know, we do different field studies and things every day and after every field study there's a camp question and it always has to do with you know, something camp related. And so the second day, um, I think the second camp question was something along the lines of, what kind of a question do you have about outdoor school and your experience that you're about to have? And so I, uh, correcting all the books, checking for punctuation and uh, sentences and periods and all that stuff, I uh, came across one of them and all he had written was, why am I here? And so I kind of asked him, I was like, okay, what do you mean by this? Do you mean like, you know, why are you here at field study? Uh, why do you need to take the survival class? Like, what's up with that? Or do you actually want to know how a bus works? And, like, how you actually got here? And he was like, no, I mean, this camp, it's so nice. Like, I don't understand why I should be allowed to be here. Like, I'm not, I'm not used to, like, having an experience that's nice like this. And, I mean, he just kept saying, like, I don't, I don't understand why I'm here. I don't deserve this. I don't get it. And it really just kind of struck a nerve with me because it just was like awakening for me. It was like, wow, this is why I wanted to be a counselor so much. And this is why I've come back for three years now. It's because it's not for all the beads that you get or, you know, all the songs are fun and all the meals are great. But really, it's all about, you know, making an experience for these kids memorable. And a positive one at that too and it's just you know really I kind of think about it like the story that we tell there it's that um, after a storm one day all these starfish and all these sea life and all these oysters are just washed up on the beach and they're suffocated not able to breathe and whatnot and you just kind of watch and you watch this old man and he's throwing the starfish back in one at a time and you can't help but feel kind of angry and like, you silly old man, you're not, you're not going to be able to save all of them, you're not making any difference. And the old man turns and he says, just made a lot of difference to that one I just threw back in. And that's kind of exactly what it was all about. It's, you know, we can't, we can't help every single child. We can't fix the entire world in one week. We can't do that. But for the ones that we can, it makes a lot of difference and really I can't wait to see how that child specifically that I saw how their life kind of improves from the experiences they got at outdoor school and so I think that lesson there makes the mountain of homework I get to go do all worth it so it's just a small story from outdoor school it's tons of fun as always I mean tons of songs great food uh, survived each time got tons of beads it was great, but I think that one, that one will stick with me a lot longer. So, that's it. That's my little story for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Inferno out.